In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Greatness of Humility. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Luke 9 verse 24. Christ gave his disciples a most important lesson in regard to who should be his disciples. In the kingdom that I am about to set up, he said, Strife for the supremacy shall have no place, all ye are brethren. All my servants there shall be equal. The only greatness recognized there will be the greatness of humility and devotion to the service of others. He that humbleth himself shall be exalted, and he that exalted himself shall be abased. He who seeks to serve others by self-denial and self-sacrifice will be given the attributes of character that commend themselves to God and develop wisdom, true patience, forbearance, kindness, compassion. This gives him the chiefest place in the kingdom of God. The Son of Man humbled himself to become the servant of God. He submitted to abasement and self-sacrifice, even to death, to give freedom and life and a place in his kingdom to those who believe on him. He gave his life as a ransom for many. This should be enough to make those who are continually seeking to be first and striving for the supremacy ashamed of their course. If any man will come after me, Christ said, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke 9 verse 23. This is the proof of discipleship. If church members would be doers of the word as they solemnly pledged themselves to be when they received baptism, they would love their brethren and would be constantly seeking for unity and harmony. Those who believe in Christ and walk humbly with Him, who watch to see what they can do to help and bless and strengthen the souls of others, cooperate with the angels who minister to those who shall be heirs of salvation. Jesus gives them grace and wisdom and righteousness, making them a blessing to all with whom they are brought in contact. The more humble they are in their own estimation, the more blessings they receive from God, because receiving does not exalt them. They make a right use of their blessings, for they receive to impart. The ministering angels receive instruction from the throne of God to cooperate with human instrumentalities. They receive the grace of Christ to give it to human beings.